most organizations are thinking about governance uh, right when they are starting to think about experimentation itself. So mm -hmm. that's the positive things. They do recognize that um, AI is not just yet another technology implementation that has to be left to the office of the CIO or the CTO, but this is about the entire organization rallying around, leveraging this powerful technology, but to impact society, to impact their clients, and to uh, you know um, benefit their uh, employees as well. So uh, governance is definitely on the table, and especially um, you know with privacy concerns, with concerns around bias and ethics. Um, you know, that is uh, on top of mind for clients. Now, even if you take the example of Tay, I was reading this somewhere, they did have a control in place. Microsoft did have a control in place of saying, we're going to watch what Tay learns and shut it down if we see that it's actually going rogue. And that's exactly what they did. So they did have the governance controls in place to watch it and shut it down. It's just that it was very public. Right. And maybe right? they didn't make the right governance structure here because right. it became... Um, well, it was a brand reputation thing. Uh, you know, it was bad press. Correct, but but they did have the governance yeah. uh, in place. So a lot of regulated organizations, in fact, and companies in the regulate in regulated industries like financial services, healthcare, uh, some amount in pharma, and so on, they do have a, a strong bias towards governance and establishing these structures up front. Now, is it as tightly controlled as we perceive in the data world? No, it's more about making sure, you know, your intake process for business use cases is right. Do I actually want to employ, leverage AI for, say, um, um, em, you know, employee applications that I get to uh, hire people? In fact, there is this example of one organization, one of the FANG organizations, having done this experiment, and while they tried to deliberately remove bias from the process, they realized inherently in the words that you use in your resume, there is an inherent bias. Uh, so you use the word nurse, it automatically bi biases towards women. You use the word mechanic, it automatically biases towards men. Mm -hmm. And so they actually shut down the program because they realized that regardless of the controls you put in place, there is going to be bias. And you're possibly uh, better off leveraging the technology to be able to accelerate the speed but humans definitely need to be a part of that process itself. Thank you.